My name is Isil Khan and in this short video we will learn about the sum of internal and external angles of a traverse. Remember previously we have already learned what is a traverse, that was just a definition, then we learned the types of a traverse and we did just a comparison of an open traverse and a closed traverse. If you have not watched that video yet, the link is down below in the description because that video is related to the video you are just watching. Alright, so now how can we determine internal and external angles of a traverse? I mean sum of internal and external angles. Before calculating the internal and external angles of a traverse, let's know what are these guys. Remember the sum of internal angles means all those angles which are forming inside of a traverse at the vertices of a traverse. The sum of internal angles means you'll have to just add all these internal angles forming inside in a traverse at a vertices of a traverse, right? This is called sum of internal angles. And sum of external angles are those which are just forming outside of a traverse at the vertices of a traverse. So by adding all these angles, we can get the sum of external angles of a traverse. Now how do we find sum of internal and external angles? For this we have a nice plug and check in formula like sum of internal angles equals 2 and minus 4 times 90 degrees and for external angles we have 2 and plus 4 times 90 degrees where n represent the number of edges or the number of sides of a traverse. For the reference of these formulas, you can study of course a nice book, Engineering Surveying by W. Scopet. In this screenshot of course you can see in a polygon the sum of internal angles should equal 2n minus 4 times 90, the sum of external angles should equal 2n plus 4 times 90. And I'll go ahead for the calculation or for the finding of internal and external angles. And I'll do of course an example to understand the problem better. Let's say this is example first. And we are asked to calculate the following data from the given traverse. The traverse is already drawn and first thing is sum of external angles and sum of internal angles. I'll come directly into solution because that's the sample. And in the solution I'll just calculate sum of external angles. And that's 2n plus 4 times 90 or we can say 2 times n. You can count them right? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So there are 6 number of sides. So 2 times 6 plus 4 times 90. When you do little mathematics you will get of course the sum of external angles equals 1 over 4 or degrees. So this is how we can calculate the sum of external angles. And now let me calculate the summation of internal angles. That's 2n minus 4 times 90. Like we can say of course 2 times n. Again number of sides. These are of course 6 sides. So 2 times 6 minus 4 times 90. We can get of course summation of internal angle equals 720 degrees. And that's it. For better understanding let's have another example. And this is example 2. We are just asked to calculate sum of internal and external angles of the given traverse. This is just a triangle but it's a traverse. I'll come directly to solution and in the solution my first approach is to calculate internal angles and that's 2n minus 4 times 90. We can say of course 2n. n is just 3 over here because a triangle always does have 3 sides. So 2 times 3 minus 4 times 90. And that's of course 180. And now let me calculate the sum of external angles and that's 2n plus 4 times 90. We can say of course 2n. Number of sides are again 3. Only 3 plus 4 times 90. That's of course 900 degrees. So the sum of external angles of a triangle should be 900 degrees. And that's it. So in this video we learnt how can we calculate the summation of internal and external angles of a traverse. Hey if you like the video make sure you thumbs up and hit the subscribe button. Thank you dears for watching. See you next time.